Super Sport Schools has been a fantastic project in South Africa. It really came from a realization that for the majority of people who call themselves sports fans, the sport that they cared about the most was school sport. What was missing was a platform that aggregated all the content onto one place so that people didn't have to go looking for it, that they knew immediately where to find it. We quickly realized by the installation of Pixelot cameras, we'd be able to network far more sports facilities and through automated and AI-driven production with a lot less people input, we could bring our cost of production down to a point where we could just produce that much more. The second thing that really happened for us is a Pixelot platform and with the graphics and the timing and the integration of all of those into a streaming product, that's when I knew we had something because it was the puzzle piece that could allow me to do what we needed to do at scale and to do sport in places that we couldn't send camera crews to do. And that really was the establishment of Supersport Schools as a platform. We've had a wonderful relationship with Pixelot, working with the AI and it's come, you know, I, I can't believe the product that I see today. It's in the hundreds of percents better than what it was such a short time ago. I've been at sporting events and watched people watching the other kids somewhere else. I've sat in restaurants and I've seen people go onto our app in a restaurant. And the amount of people that come up to me and tell me stories about a moment that they've been able to share with their children because they couldn't be there physically, but through video live or even as a video on demand, um, has, has changed their lives. One of the great stories that we uncovered in 2022 was the story of young Viwe, who set out to, to break the South African record in under 18 girls for the 100 and the 200 meters. What had happened a couple of weeks before that is her brother had died in a car crash. So obviously it was quite emotional for her to be running in these national championships and athletic swimming are typically things that are very difficult to produce when you have limited resources and cameras without the graphics and the data, you've got 10 kids swimming in a pool with their heads underwater. You, you know, you can't see who they are. And I think one of the things that I've appreciated most in working with the Pixelot team is almost challenging them to do things and seeing how quickly they come up with the solutions to those. For the first time, there was a camera on site at, at a junior nationals to film it. She went on to break a 32 year old record in South Africa for under 18 girls. And she, the next day she actually did the same in the 200 meters. So it's really sprung her into the minds of people. We've had millions of people go and watch that race on our platform. And the fact that we were on site to, to capture those moments and then to be able to share them with such a broad section of the, of the sports public. Those are really the deep sort of meaningful connections that we're so proud of.